Look at all the geese. It's like over a bunch of them are leaving now. They're out of here. They're out. Funny how these geese act. They head back when you're <laughs> when you're out of sight. But I'm not out of sight. I got two sticks that I want to buff back. I want to break the seal on it. I'm going to buff it first. This one, my one went forth. Walnut. So I'm going to buff it with steel wool first, then hit with 220 grit sandpaper. Wipe them back next. Two twenty grit sandpaper. Sand it and then I'll wipe it back and then I'm gonna put some more linseed oil and I'm gonna put some wax on it. I done sanded both of them. I'm gonna put linseed oil on them. The next one I gotta do is soap I'm not gonna record that one though. I'm gonna wipe them back now. These rags hang dry. I'll show you what one looks like real fast. And they're dry. This thing is completely dry, so you could throw this away, which I'm going to. You can stick it on a hanger like this, just flip it over like that, and let it hang dry until it cares and it'll harden. Then it's safe to throw it away. I could crumble this up if I wanted to. No heat's gonna come off it now.
But nonetheless, you throw that away. So that's what you want to do. Let them hang dry until they're fully cured. Then you can throw them away. That's what you need to do. I'm going to use this to coat the sticks with. It just keeps the oil from getting everywhere on my hands. So I'm going to put this on there. I'm going to do one and then they went off camera just to save some time. Just kind of blend it in to the wood. kind of melts right into that wood. Day two. Day three. That Larry, Larry Millar, he ain't nothing but trouble. All he does is give his cynical, sarcastic remarks. Sometimes I just get sick of his garbage and, uh, Thinking about not going to Burger King for a while, just to avoid him. It had nothing to do with him. He's making me sick. He's a version to the truth. So I'd give you that little note. Today is one of those more sunny days. You might not see it, but it's actually been poking out a little bit. Got a whole lot more sunny outside. Uh, I got done just making a video, finishing up my video of why I switched from boiled instant oil to raw instant oil number two. I had a lot of B-roll and stuff like that to it, so it took me about three and a half hours to do. I hope it does good on YouTube. That's usually where people go to my videos, so I hope it did good. I'm going to find out if Joe was good today in school or not. Yesterday Joseph was good. Today Joseph is good. No hitting, no spitting, none of that. He did great. Two days in a row. Wow, look at the ice. It's gotten a lot thicker. Got a lot further too, so... Wow. Not much on the other side, but this side. Not usual for here. This I've never seen before. Right here, I've never seen this before. Never seen it do this. Never. Out there in the middle, yeah. Right here? No. Unusual. Saying it's not even really that cold. Very unusual.
I'm off for home. Uh, I'm done for today. Sorry, I didn't do much yesterday. I was just too busy. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm off for home. So tomorrow. Just finished it. Yep, just finished it. Day four. Back to freezing cold weather again. Once again. Today is one of those very freezing cold days. But. One good thing, the wind ain't blowing like crazy, so that makes it bearable. Right outside today, huh? I'm going to get to work on doing some uh, sticks. So I'm going to... I'm gonna do some more sticks. I'm gonna re-oil. I'm gonna put some oil on my sticks. But first I'm gonna buff it with the steel wool. And then I'm gonna put some oil on there. I can tell right now this one here has a little bit of a uh, yellowing happening to it. So the walnut oil does yellow but not like a uh, really dark yellow. I always like the feel of a uh, really good hand polish stick. I'm gonna buff my steel wool. I got more of that on the buff up. I'm gonna show maybe one or two, but I gotta get this done, so then I'll show you the next process I'm gonna go through. Real fast. Sorry, I had a little mishap over there. Okay, it's trying to wipe them back now. So I wiped them back. I got two that I'm going to do with walnut oil. And the rest are going to be doing with linseed oil. So I'll just do two with lint oil, walnut oil. And I'll do the two with uh, one with linseed oil. Because I'm not going to spend 20 minutes putting it in a video to do that. So I'm just going to wipe it on there, let it soak in 15-20 minutes, and then wipe it back, and then put it away. And uh, if it soaks it in, then I'll put another coat on. If not, then I'll uh, do that with my hand over time with it. Now the linseed oil.
Okay, I done oil them all up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a rag and uh, this one here, I'm probably gonna leave. And this one here, I'll wipe back. But this one here, uh, it looks like it wants more oil. The rest, I'm gonna wipe back. First, I'm gonna wipe back, wipe back the, the walnut one. It's one rag, and then the rest with another rag. And then what I'm gonna do is come back with that wet rag after I wiped it all back and just wipe on a teeny bit of oil to each of the ones with linseed oil on them. I don't want to take a second, but shake your rag to make sure there's no particles left over on it. Let's give it a good shake. So I'm gonna wipe back the walnut one, and then we'll do the I'll do one with linseed oil. Let's do a slight wipe back. I don't want to do it really hard. Now the linseed oil one. Like I said, I'm gonna come back to each of them after I've done wiped them all back. Hit them red. I won't show that though. There's no reason to. Let's give you an idea of what you need to do. There they are. All oiled up. This one's just absorbing it and sucking up. The oil. So, my plan was hit it with an oily, wipe it back, and leave a thin layer of oil. That's your plan. That's how you do it. I was good in school again, third day in a row. Come on, Joe, let's go. 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 Good in school once again. No, you weren't. That's it for me today. I'm done. Day five. Plenty of snow on the ground. Plus was good in school again. Four days in a row. Two for five is a good deal. That's it for me today. I'm sorry I didn't do much. I was just one of those days where I was just trying to relax. I had to make some turmeric capsules, you can see it on my fingers. Uh, I did a few other things. And Joseph was good in school. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I'm done for the day. Tomorrow I'll probably be a lot more productive. Today's day six. Uh, I'm sorry I made it we actually can rest and not be so crazy and busy, but I'm going to go do a few things today, but we'll see how the day progresses.
Mm. I added something a little different to this uh, golden milk this time. It's Harlan's. Just got it from Safeway. Uh, the ingredients are on it, and it's uh, stevia, erythritol, natural flavors. I don't care about that either. And uh, monk fruit. And it's no sugar. And uh, sure has a nice sweet taste to this. Much better. Brings out the cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, and that pumpkin pie spice. Brings it out. Just makes it taste so much better. But that's not my point. What I'm here for today. Um, uh, I said last week I was going to go to church, but I didn't get a chance to make it into church. I'm not going to be able to make it tomorrow. There's too many things happening. I told my wife that I'm going back to church this coming Sunday. I have to record some of it. I don't know how much I'm going to record of it, but I am going to record a little bit of it, but I don't know for certain. Oh, that tastes so much better. And I got to tell I, I got to say it real fast. If you don't worry, if you don't want a sugar spike, you know, if you're a, um, a diabetic, you can always use almond milk and add one of these, and you are not going to raise your blood sugar. I thought I was going to have to add two, but no way. Now don't go for the C and H, go for the whole earth one. Natural flavors, I mean, who cares what that natural flavor is? I mean, it's probably the uh, stevia, because they always put, whenever I see anything with stevia, it's always got natural flavors, which it is a natural flavor. Uh, so, I was going to do some of my prayers with uh, Valley of Vision. I'll show you fast. The Valley of Vision. It's uh, prayers by people who have puritanical theology. Uh, I'll leave a link down below where you can pick one up. You don't have to get the bonded leather. I did. Uh, for me, I've always struggled with prayer. Prayer is one of my biggest struggles. And uh, I read through Ian e. Bounds' prayer book, book on Charles Spurgeon about praying. They were helpful, but the one that helped me the most was J.C. Weil. He wrote a pamphlet on praying. It's just talking with God, communing with Him in prayer. And that changed my prayer life quite a bit. And um, I didn't want to pray something that wasn't according to the scriptures. Or you know, How do we know God's will? Well, we find it through the Word of God. By growing holiness and godliness. And developing in righteousness. And too many people forget about that. I mean, I know people that don't even pray. Or they got a repeated prayer that they pray. Nothing wrong with that. I can't have nothing against doing a prayer like that. But we need to have a prayers that are centered around the Word of God and not around our own ideas. To me, pray is to get strength. I mean, pray without ceasing. It doesn't mean you pray constantly. It just means you're consistent in prayer. I was talking to people about this and we need to be consistent in our prayers. When our prayers are man-centered, me, 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 no, forget about you. What about Jesus? If Jesus is not important, then we have nothing. So, I just thought I'd give you these things today. Um, tomorrow I'll be wrapping up uh, my week two. Um, <clears throat> so you're done with that all. You're shooting on YouTube. You know, I hate when I watch on YouTube and I see all they talk about is how to make a video and stuff like this. But they don't, and, and they vlog about their camera or something like that. Not their life. Not about their daily struggles, their, their hardship and stuff like that, and trying to persevere and get through it. That's why I like Casey Neistat, although he started going techie. Not that I say that I don't like Casey Neistat, but well, I do like his tech reviews, but he did lots of other stuff too, which is why I liked him. So, I'm out. That's it for day six. I'm done. For day six. Day seven. And it's snowing again.
got a few things I'm gonna do. Then I'm gonna go to my uh, mom's place and do a few things. And then snow's still coming down. I'll show you. You can't see it, but I can. Probably not. But it's definitely coming down. You just can't see it right now. Maybe now you guys can see the snow. I don't know. But it is definitely coming down. Okay, I'm about to be going home. I'm in this day of day seven. Like I said, next week I'm going back to church. I'm gonna be going right back to church next week. Couldn't do it this week, I was just too busy. <clears throat> really tired. And I wanna be alert and awake when I go to church. And next week I'm definitely going back. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'm not just gonna leave because of silly little things, but I was dealing with some stuff that need to deal with some issues and stuff like that. I had to get through it in my own way, in my own terms. But I think I'm going to wrap this up for this week and get done with this week and I'll be done. I'll be posting it online. And uh, I'm sorry I didn't do much this week. It's just been one of those trials and temptations and dealing with stuff that I need to deal with. I know First Corinthians talks and 13 talks about how overcoming your temptations. You know, God is faithful to your temptations. Sometimes we just forget to focus on Him. I've been losing a lot of focus on not trusting in what He's done for me. So I wanted to do a little study on the Bible says about believers and just get all I, what I can the Bible says about believers and just take it and take it in. And so that's what I'm going to do probably throughout the day. Uh, maybe getting this going, wrapping up all these videos and putting them all together and putting it online. So you guys take care and God bless.